Okay guys, now today I want to show you how to put this door in the actual frame, okay, or in the hole. Very lightly put some glue right along the edges of it, all the way around there, and then you want to put some across the bottom. Okay, you don't need a lot of it. Then you're just going to sit it in there, in the hole, and make sure it presses. Now, if yours has this piece here at the top, you can also put some glue right along here if you like. If you just think it's not going to hold doing it the other way. But you don't really need that. But you can do it. Okay? And then you just put it right in that hole. Make sure you have it pressed up against it completely. And then I would clamp it, but when you clamp it, you want to put popsicle sticks so that you don't damage the wood. Okay? Okay, and if you don't have popsicle sticks, you can use a scrap piece of wood. And in fact, in some cases, a scrap piece of wood going across the whole thing might actually be more effective. So if you don't clamp it in place, what's going to happen, and don't clamp it to where it's tight. You just want to clamp it to where it's snug. Um, but what's going to happen if you don't clamp it, it's not going to get that tight seal in there. So clamp it like that, let it dry for at least an hour or so, maybe even longer before you try to do anything else with it. Okay guys, so now if you want to do the door, if you're using a duct tape hinge, you're going to need to put the duct tape on it before you put this piece on over here. And if you want it to open the other way, you put it on over here. You can add a thin piece on top of it, go in the opposite direction to give you a little bit of play there. And then um, what you're going to do is you're going to take the duct tape and the door and make sure you have it even on both sides. And leaving space at the bottom and space at the top just evenly and then you're going to tape it. Okay, now this is some super sturdy duct tape here. Okay, and what happens is the door will open and close. Okay, now as you can see, it'll pull back farther because I have this tape here on there, so you don't need to make yours quite as wide. But, um, the molding will go here, and then when you open the door, the molding will stop it from moving. Okay, now this is a little bit thicker than the actual molding, so it's not really going to work the same way, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so then the door will just open and close right like that. The wallpaper will cover this, so you don't have to worry about any of that. And if you don't want to use duct tape hinges, you can always use pin hinges. But if you're using pin hinges, you need to complete your door process completely before you get everything else installed and the pens will have to go in before you put the decorative molding at the top and the bottom because otherwise you won't get it in there. But this works and the duct tape's not ever going to do anything. It's not going to like wear or anything. This duct tape's 20 years old and it's still standing. So, Alright, that's it for that and don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell if you want to be notified and don't forget to share and follow the Facebook page. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Okay hey guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials.com. Also, check us out on Facebook, Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials, and on YouTube. Like and subscribe to the channel because we post videos all the time. And leave a comment, question, or suggestion because we love hearing from you. And if you like Pinterest, we have tons of pens on there as well under Laurie Holden Heisler. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a great day.